Yeah, this attack comes in the historically black college's first semester back since regaining accreditation. CBS 46's Patrick Quinn spoke one on one with the college president on the attack and where the college goes from here. Tonight, Dr. Kevin James, president of Morris Brown College, he told me that they're working with the Atlanta Police Department to try and find those responsible for vandalizing the school's clock. That effort includes scrubbing through local surveillance cameras, including this one with the blue light right here on Martin Luther King Drive. From the sky, our chopper captured the damage. The clock on Morris Brown College's historic Fountain Hall destroyed. On the ground, you see the clock face in pieces. Anger, disappointment, um, someone purposely uh, came over and did this. This act of vandalism comes just five months after the historically black college regained full accreditation after a 20 year fight. We are here to stay. That was Dr. Kevin James, president of Morris Brown College in April, and now he believes that reaccreditation inspired this attack. You, you feel like it indeed was targeted in light of your accreditation? Yes, we, I, we do believe that it was not our students. We saw the people who, it was dark, but we saw the group uh, that was running away. Now, while the school works to track down those responsible in this attack, classes continue at the downtown Atlanta campus. What was a college of 23 years ago now has 250 plus students. You feel the excitement of people. Um, anytime you bring up Morris Brown College, the first thing they say, wow, you guys just got real accredited. I'm like, yes. And Sin Q Singleton, freshman from New Orleans, was among those mingling on campus Friday. Dr. James said while this vandalism to the college's symbol hurts, it won't hinder their comeback. This is not going to stop us. You know, it's just a, a, a road bump, but we're going to continue to move forward. Nothing is going to stop Morris Brown's resurrection. In downtown Atlanta, Patrick Quinn, CBS 46 News.